Lads, here we go, man. Here we go. My first race since patch 1.9. And um, this should be good stuff. We actually qualified in third. I think this patch actually suits us. We seem to have managed to get a lot closer to the front. Hopefully that's a, that's a good omen. Decent start, lads. Let's go. Lost the position. Let's see what we can do, though. I don't think the tyre wear will be too bad because the track temps are down. But we did manage a mid 1 minute 40, a 40.6 in quality, which is not too bad. Let's see what our setup is like in the race as well. It was pretty close between the top six, to be honest. Got a great run off the last corner. Aston seems pretty fast, man. But the question is, is whose tyres can last the duration of the race? I did use the uh, Max Toe for Quali. Audi still seems pretty fast as well. We're going to make sure we check our time here at the end of the race as well. Uh, 
there's definitely a, a difference in front grip when I'm not running a max negative toe. I can feel it through some of the fast corners. But hopefully what we lose in speed will gain in, in tire wear. definitely seen fast in the race Two Audis out front seem to be getting away a little bit. edge closer to him. I still haven't even really done the dampers on the Lambo yet either. As I said, this is my first race. It's all a learning experience with the new patch. Oh, he's broken the grass. He's made the mistake, lads. Back up into third position. Still slightly slower than the leaders. Let's see, let's see if I have anything for them.
We're improving our pace a lot on this lap, but I think so is everybody else. Well, too early. Could have matched them on that lap, I think. Aston definitely looks quick behind as well. Just edging away a little bit. Line at the front. Hopefully, they'll start battling. Lambo so much nicer to drive than, the, than his predecessor. Was actually quicker than them on that lap. Will they come back towards us? Thank you. 
I think I've definitely hit the ground running with the setups at the moment. catching them now. And just came round out of nowhere slightly late on the brakes and that was it I was in such a good position closing on the leaders as well what a stupid mistake to make about five seconds on that lap. Will that slide have a lasting effect on the tyres, man? I actually think I got my, my toe angles and stuff spot on for the race. Maybe the leaders have gone max negative toe for the race and that's probably why their pace is dropping off a little bit. What I do know is that Aston's seem extremely fast. I've lost a little bit of grip on the tyre with that slide. How much damage do I have? Five seconds worth of damage.
Much harder to get slowed down now. Four, not a great lap. Uh, the leaders are still not really pulling away from me, so. Oh, it's such a pity we had that crash, man. Guys, I can't stress how important your race setup is nowadays. You can see pretty much the top five probably had a very similar pace. When the tanks were heavier, the Audis definitely seemed to have more of the advantage. As tyre wear started to set in, the Audis don't seem that much quicker. Look how fast the guy in fourth is at the moment. Flying. That Aston looks pretty decent. Or he might have a very good race setup. Either or, he's got very good pace at the moment. I can't believe the mistake I've made. I think I should have gone higher on the front brake ducks as well. Yes, the Audis are definitely falling off when it comes to pace. I mean, I'm matching the Audis pace and I've got damage, so. Gonna be very interesting over longer stints. For the most part, what I try to do is just, especially in the early parts of the race, just not slide the tyres, man. Just Even if I had to brake a little bit early, just to get the nose into the corners. And just save my tyres save my so I can lap at a consistent rate the whole way through the race. And I think once we have a race without any mistakes, I think it will pay off, man. 
Oh. I think next time I will put the brake, that front brake that's up one. But they're just overheating in the tight corners midway through the race. And now I'm finding it a little harder to brake for these tight corners. Hey lads, fifth place, man. Um, could have done, could have done so much better. But do you know what? I, I'm I'm much more happier with where my pace is um, at the moment than than anything else. So I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Let's have a look at the the, the tire wear now. Um, two. Wow, our tires were. To be honest, I could have gone more aggressive. Look at that. Is that the tire set I used? Can't be. Don't know. There you go. There it was. About to say that was incredible tire management. So light graining on the fronts. And as I said, my front tires, actually, that's where I was running the most toe. So just light graining after 25 minutes. Track temperature was very cool, which probably would have helped. Um, but you know, I'm just going to try and make a mental note of the, the track temp and how much grain and I have. And these are the kind of things you're going to have to work out to, you know, how much toe you actually want to run portion that with how hot it is and how much tire you're actually going to get. Now I'd say if light graining after 25 minutes, that will probably become moderate after maybe 35 minutes. Um, so if you're doing like an AOR race, you could probably get away with the toe angles that I, that I ran in this race. Um, so yeah, guys. And if you do want to be inundated with my, my current setups, make sure you either join a Patreon or become a member on YouTube. I'll add you to the uh, Discord server where we share the setups out and give the setups out so everyone can get some of these juicy, juicy setups. And um, yeah, guys, um, looking good at the moment, looking good. I did actually, try to do the race before this one i got pole position and i was um in second place and the leader spun um and i was i was leading the race but then my missus called me and i had to sort of jump off mid-race and lose a bunch of points but definitely definitely looking up for us man our qualifying looks improved We're way closer to the front and it seems as if the changes to the physics of the game or the tire model suits me quite a bit i'm able to get the old feeling i used to have when we played this game back in the day i kind of feel like my you know before i used to feel a little bit just a little bit off with the steering after i think it was after the uh tire model where they changed the three point tire model um i felt like after that i i lost quite a bit but it seems to be coming back to me man so hopefully hopefully guys this is a sign for better things to come in the future um yeah enjoyed the race the lambo is pretty cool i don't believe it can match the porsche or the ferrari just yet but it's definitely a lot nicer to drive so guys um leave your comments in the comment section below cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace